When Craig Jackson from Michigan suggests we make a version of Denny's famous Moons Over My Hammy, who are we to argue? Because it's Craig Jackson. Everybody listens to him. Okay, we don't know who he is. But I love the idea because I've always loved the name Moons Over My Hammy. In fact, we looked it up. It was named after a 1941 movie. About two sisters that end up going looking for rich husbands in Miami. A little sexist. In retrospect? In retrospect, <laughs> uh, yes, I suppose it could be, Max. It's basically a ham and cheese with scrambled eggs in the middle. So we're gonna do kind of that, but we're gonna jazz it up a little bit. Not just bread, well, maybe just watch and see. Okay, let's just come down here and I'll show you where we're going. Two bowls. The first bowl gets two eggs and some shell. And this bowl also gets a little milk. Anybody know why? We're making French toast for the outside of this, which means we should probably give it just a tiny little splint of sugar, and then we can beat. Yes, we're gonna French toast the size this Moons Over Miami, which by the way, I think Denny's might want to start doing because, well, at least in my mind, it's gonna be really good. This bowl also gets two eggs. It also gets a little salt and pepper, and this we beat because this will be for our scrambled eggs. Slow scrambled, we're making them very gentle. Now, Maxi, if you notice, this is a pan of diced bacon. I'm gonna get rid of the extra grease in here and then this will be the scrambled eggs that are going in the moons over my hammy. Good? Good. I think we can actually come over here and kind of start this biatch. All right, pan on, I've gotten rid of the grease, most of it. You gotta keep a little bit. We'll add a little butter, we'll let this start to melt. The heat's way down low because I don't want to burn anything. I want these eggs to cook gently. And then because we can and because I want to, because I love some color, boom, some diced green onion goes in here. For any diced green onion lovers, I got your back. Now before I put the eggs into this, I'm gonna get my French toast going because it could sit a bit, the eggs cannot. So butter first, there, and then our bread. And I'm using a brioche, nice, thick, beautiful brioche. I'll go like that, and we'll go like this, nicely coated, and on it goes. And now our eggs can go in our little pan, and that will look like this. Beautiful. And you can see they're not setting right away, which is everything I want them to do. Six hours later, you have eggs. Oh, it's nice. Gentle, gentle, gentle. That's what we're doing here, gentle. Look how beautiful they are. By the way, I looked at a picture of Moons Over My Hammy, and they could use this inside. This, 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 this. Slow, slow, folks. Gorgeous, they're gorgeous. Oh, this is how I make my eggs in the morning. Super low, take my time. Okay, I have one little treat coming up for these eggs to make them even better. We're gonna put a couple little baby dollops of sour cream in here, just to make this a teeny bit richer and more wonderful. My mom used to put sour cream in eggs, and in the beginning I thought it was the weirdest thing ever, and then I started to realize what a effing genius she was. She did give us that lemon chicken we had recently. She certainly did. If you haven't made the, my mom's lemon chicken, go check out the recipe. Okay, I'm gonna just pull this off for a sec because I don't want it to cook too much. And now I can flip my French toast. Should be pretty obvious, nice. But you start melting some cheese. While the toast is hot, put a couple, a piece and a half of orange on. And on this side, we'll put some cheddar. Fantastic. All right, now we come back with our eggs, watching them very carefully. This is gonna be like a three minute video. I never used to know very much about wine. It cost me because I was guessing at restaurant menus. Oh, I'll take that one, trying to look cool. Oh, that, it's delicious, I'll have that one. But now I've started to learn because of Bright Cellars. It's a monthly wine club that matches wines to you based on a quiz you take, so you're getting profiles that work for you. We've talked about Bright Cellars before. We've told you how much we like them. Here's how they know what to send you. You take a seven question quiz. Like the very first one, what's the one type of chocolate you could eat for the rest of your life? I chose dark chocolate and they start matching wines for me that follow that dark chocolate profile, along with the other questions that I've answered. Wait, you wanna see something really cool? Here's how the boxes come. It's like this, you open the box and boom, your wine experience has arrived. So you lift this up and there's your wine. Two and two, fantastic. But here's the part that I really like. This is a set of the cards that come telling you what you've got. The apostate, which is this beautiful red right here. This red wine begins with aromas of black cherry and oregano. It just helps you get smarter and learn. 
Thank you again, Bright Sellers, for giving our followers a limited time offer of $50 off their first four bottle box. Just click the link in the description to get started. Now we're just waiting for everything to finish. Oh man. Oh God, those eggs, please. Okay, so watch this move. I'll take my French toast, I'll do it like this. I'll put a dot or two of water here to help melt that. Beautiful. Lovely. These guys are ready. They can come off and we can build. Oh, I forgot the ham. Oh my God. Shit. Yeah, it's the ham. I was assuming that just goes. No, it doesn't. I gotta throw it on. I forgot the ham. So I've got black forest ham right here. Holy shit. Moon's over my hammy. What a stoner idiot I am. I'm not really a stoner. But I'm an idiot. So we're good. This doesn't take long. But you do want to throw it on the flat and... I was looking at that thinking, something's wrong here. Beautiful. Yeah, the whole hammy part was missing. The whole hammy part was missing. All right. Let's do this. Fucking dope. I'm a dope. Okay, ham goes on. Ham almost didn't go on. Because Professor's stupid over here. Totally forgot about it. Okay, that's gorgeous. It's working out better than I imagined. Now our amazing eggs. You really smell the bacon. And now the last piece, the crowning glory. This guy goes on top like this. And then you take the whole thing off and put it on here. Ladies and gentlemen, our version of Moon's Over My Hammy. And it's time. So we come in and we go, and we look at our beautiful layers inside. Wow, I just want to eat every fucking inch of this little biatch. Look at this. Holy shit, the smell. Look, maybe just the Black Forest ham would have been an upgrade, but everything else we did to this, stop it now. That's what we're eating here. Craig, for you, buddy. Oh, snap. Slow scrambled eggs, check. Bacon, green onion, check, check. The French toast, the whole thing has changed. I don't know what original Moon's Over My Hammy tastes like, but if it doesn't taste like this, come on, Denny's, get with it. They do a Sam the Cooking Guy Moon's Over My Hammy special. How fun would that be? I'll come make a few. Call me. We'll work it out. See you guys. Hit the subscribe button.